So I know it's only been on for four whole months, no. but the wrap, not even. No. I, I don't think we did finish it. I mean, was it finished finished? What are we doing instead? Selling it. Are you holding that right? Oh. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, and then it just draws it up. Straw. Yeah, that'll do. We've already stripped all the wrap off because it, we, it was one of those things we just set to it and then we was like, oh, the wrap's off. Which is fine. It's almost like an accidental thing. Yeah, fell off. Oh, and if anyone's thinking of wrapping their car but they want to look after the paint underneath and it's not been done right, it will just rip all your paint off. All over every panel. All around there. All there. Not What is the reason? If you do it on your own, you haven't done it before, it takes... So long. So, so long. With three of us in an evening, it took maybe three hours to wrap one panel. Yeah. Bumpers, you can't do in one piece unless you're an absolute magician and you can stretch it and pull it and get it all different directions. And then taking it off takes almost as long. It took me a full day with Sean to pull it off. There's still bits on there that aren't off yet. But then, like Sean just said, it's taken half the paint off as well, wouldn't it? Because it's had glass. Oh, here. Oh, here. Any bit, any paint that wasn't key. I mean, that was sort of key. I mean, to be fair, the paint they've done had the zero prep yeah, at all. That's just like in Scotch. A bit of Scotch bright Scotch over it. Or something, and they've just blown it over. But the paint looked quite good. It had blemishes. But yeah. The finish wasn't that bad. Metallic. Shows what you can do with really with bad. Enough, prep. Yeah. Terrible prep, you can get a half decent. So if we prep this really well, it's gonna be amazing. And also we're getting this dent out. So I've been around, been in with a hammer, bang, 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 bang. Uh, chiseled it, straightened it all out, kept trying the lighting. So it's all metal work, that is. That's all just metal. Put a, put a skimmer filler on and 80% of that's coming off. 80%. <laughs> I haven't used this yet. I don't know if my compressor's I haven't even got it out of the box yet. Yeah, it's just been unboxed. It was 20, 28 quid off Amazon. Prime. It was Amazon's Choice DA Random Orbital Sander. You got an extractor for that? Yeah. I'll get yeah. Henry Hoover on that, mate. Yeah, get that on it. 28 quid, though. 28 quid. What would we need? A bit of 80 grit to get uh, through it? Uh, we'll start high and then work Too down. Far. I don't think we need to go 80 grid. What, I'll start on? As though you've only got 240, so I'm guessing. Yeah, 240. Then. 240. So that's it, we're going to make a start sanding. This, as well, is original paint from the factory. The only, the only original paint. Some roof's got some sort of wrap on it, and a few of these bits have been like blown in black before. But yeah, so original Nissan paint. Oh, cool. What are we going to do with it? Grind it off. Grind it off. day one and we've managed to minus de wrapping because we didn't really count that half a day that was half a day in itself so end of day one we've uh, sanded back all the boot these quarters we've started on this side's been all filled that's pretty much ready now i think there's no more work needed on all this apart from uh, i think at the moment that's about 160 grit and we're going to be what before paint one four hundred? 
Yeah, 350-400. Over the whole car, so it's just all one. If it, yeah, just to get those, like, the lines out, you can see, like, the score marks. Yeah, really you see we've been uh, just blatting it with a bit of black paint, and then when you rub it, you can see all the lines that are left in the black, so we're just making sure we get rid of that. We've been getting rid of, like, where the old aerial was, that's all filled in and smoothed. Um, so, the work on the arches, basically, they were a mess. Yeah, yeah, the process was take the over fender off, have a look, you see in the, the video um, I've got a grinder with a wire wheel on and basically that wire wheel was taken off about an inch thick worth of silicon or sealant, whatever it was. And what they've done is quite common, cutting the arch out, left the metal underneath quite long, folded it over onto the, the upper arch basically and then riveted it and siliconed it. Now that bit's the, the bad bit this so they just cut it bent it up riveted which is all these holes and then filled it with silicon so we we again we've been welding all this up bent it all bashed it all out as flat as we can with what was left welded it all up and then we're cutting them all off cutting all these flaps back off and then you see on the other side we've gone over with uh, fiberglass in the resin and just sort of smoothing it all out and making it like an arch all sealed up all the holes are filled in now as well we've blatted them with a welder so that's about where we are that's the end of episode one of prepping ps13 for its mega mega paint and then uh we're doing my car i can't wait to take your wrap off you're just going to peel it in one big go. The worst place, I'm going to do it right up the centre of the bottom. <laughs> no going back. Oh no. So next time we're going to be sanding all this back, getting rid of any of these little imperfections here, uh, sanding all the roof and that's it. Then we're going to be filling all the fibreglass, cutting all the rough bits back because you get a load of this, like these bits here where they're in the mould just getting rid of all those, cutting them off, sanding it all. Yeah, they're all they all come like it where they've just been like little bits. And I think this needs cutting so it doesn't hit the intercooler just to match that one. You know what I thought you did? When I crashed it's hit. Oh yeah. And that's done a bit of damage on the intercooler, so might as well get cut down while it's at this stage. So then it won't happen again. Hopefully. So See you on the next episode. Mm.